Hi, I'm Safin Tia. This is very introductory stat course for very beginners. Fundamentals 1. Why is the stat difficult? When I was a graduate student, I feel every stat class were very difficult. One of the reasons is that every professor is in stat classes just talking about the equation and numbers. However, I feel that I cannot understand anything the equation, numbers, and proof. Nowadays, after about 10 years teaching in graduate school, I found that why the stat is difficult for normal people, especially for, like me, a uh, social scientist. We are not familiar with the numbers, equations, and proofs. So now, I will start the very, very introductory step courses for beginners. Okay, let's get started with today's class. Today, we will learn about why the step is so difficult. Here, an anecdotal story is a uh, an example. It's a kind of a fiction. Okay, you are now working as a sales manager in one company. You developed a new promotion strategy and applied it last month. After finalizing last month's sales promotion, you found that the last month's sales promotion sales was increased about 10k dollars in comparison with the last 10 years average same month sales. So, you thought your new promotion was very successful and effective. Thus, you made a report and went to your boss. Okay, you said, Boss, my new promotion strategy was successful. Last month's sales grew up about 10k dollars. But your boss, mm-hmm. And you said, my new promotion was very effective. And then your boss said, Hey, you need to study basic statistics. Hmm. What's going on here? What's wrong with you? What's the meaning of the statistics? Your boss said. This kind of uh, uh, example is uh, occurred every day in our life. I said there is a two types of decision making. One is the normal decision making, the other one is a statistical decision making. First, I will look up the normal decision making. This is a general decision making process in our normal life. For example, first, 10k dollars sales increase is the result of my new promotion. So my promotion is very successful and effective. Second, my mathematics score was increased to 10 points due to new textbook. Or, after breakup with my girlfriend, I gained weight by 6 pounds. How do you think about this example? It's normally occurred in our life and we think like this. This is a arbitrary process and very decisive process to conclude with a simple guess. There is no serious consideration on the causal relationship between cause and effect. And there is no serious test on the causal relationship. It is occurred every day in our life. And in general, we human beings think like this. This is a normal decision making normal process in our uh, brain. Okay, let's think about the statistical decision making. The statistical decision making process is like this. I will change prior uh, slide statement into uh, statistical decision making. 
The first, what is the probability that 10k dollars sales increase is occurred by chance? Second, what is the probability that 10 points increase in mass is occurred by chance? Or, what is the probability that 6 pounds of weight gain is occurred? Here, the point is the probability that a event is occurred by chance. Just by chance. This is a scientific process. Or, it is called a kind of a skeptical process on simple guess. There is a serious considerations on the causal relationship and also there is a serious test on the causal relationship. As you can see here, this is totally different from our normal guess or normal decision making in our life. In reality, nobody think like this. However, this is the reason why the statistics is difficult for us. I think normal people usually cannot think like this. Remember, the reason why statistics is difficult is that the thinking process is unfamiliar with our normal decision making. As I said, the statistical decision making is totally different from our normal decision making in our life. So, we must know what the statistical decision making is. This is very important when we start our stat course. So, point is this one. What is the probability that an event is occurred by chance? If it is occurred by chance, oh, there is no causal relationship. But it is not occurred by chance, okay, there will be a causal relationship between them. Cause and effect. So, remember, the statistical thinking means what is the probability that an event is occurred by chance? Okay. Fundamentals 1. Why is the statistics difficult? Today, I will stop here. Mm -hmm.